Hi friends, welcome to Key to Pictures. How do I adjust my white balance? This is a great question because again, what if you've already watched the video on white balance, you know that it's very important. Um, there's a couple of ways to adjust your, light bal your white balance on your camera. Um, first is you can just set it to auto. There's a setting where you can just put it on auto white balance where your camera determines the correct white balance for whatever lighting situation that you're in. A lot of cameras, it, de it depends on your camera, but a lot of cameras do great with auto white balance. They do a, a really nice job and that way you don't have to fuss with it um, to make it, if it's too blue or too orange, you don't have to adjust it. If you feel like that that's not a good, um, that your camera doesn't do a good job with auto white balancing, then you can do kind of the semi-automatic um, white balancing and that would be to choose one of the settings on your one of the white balance settings on your camera depending on what lighting situation you're in so um, there's usually five or six um, settings white balance settings and that would be um, one is incandescent and that is, that just means like a light bulb if you're inside and you have a lamp or overhead lights on that would adjust it in that situation there is um, fluorescent, a fluorescent light setting, a daylight sunny um, setting, a flash, cloudy, and shade. So basically you would just determine what um, lighting situation you are in. You know, if you're outside under a tree in the shade, then you would adjust your white balance setting to shade, and then it would, it would correct the, the white balance. Again, it's kind of the same with auto. It depends on your camera, if it does a good job or not um, with, with that setting. I use another one on my camera um, that where I can adjust the, the white balance um, by changing the temperature myself. So white balance is, or temperature, color temperature is measured in Kelvins. So on your camera, it would be a K, you would see that, uh, a capital letter K and with that um, setting then you would be adjusting the temperature yourself so say you were in a inside at night and you had um, light overhead lighting on so if you were to just take the picture normally your picture would look a little bit orange so if you have it where you can adjust the temperature yourself um, if the if the temperature or the picture is looking too orange, then you would dial down the number. So you would do a lower um, number. Um, so my, my camera goes from 25,000 or 2,500 Kelvin all the way up to 9,900 Kelvin. So I would, um, if I were inside and my picture was looking too orange, I would dial it down to say like 2,600 Kelvin. And I would take a picture, look at it. If it looked like the correct color, then I would continue on. But if it didn't, um, if it looked too warm or too cool, then I would adjust that accordingly to, um, to correct that, that coloring in the photo. Um, do I always know the exact number that it needs to be? Like, do I know the exact number for when I'm inside? Um, no, I just know that it needs to be a lower number um, to compensate for that warm coloring and vice versa. Um, if it's looking a little bit too blue, I know I need to increase my number in order to um, compensate for that blueness. And then the last way to adjust your white balance is to put it in a manual setting. And when you have it on manual, then you are um, using a, a white surface, like a white piece of paper or a white t-shirt. You are taking a picture of that in the lighting situation that you're in, and then your camera will adjust it according to how the color looks on that white piece of paper. And I, I walk you through the steps of doing a manual white balance in another video so you know exactly how to do that. So of course I want to leave you with a quote and the quote today is by Robert Heinlein and he said, in absence of clearly defined goals, we become strangely loyal to performing daily trivia until we ultimately become enslaved by it. And isn't that the truth? If we don't know exactly where we're going or what our goals are, then our day-to-day, -day, it's like we're on a treadmill. We're just kind of doing those, whatever comes up, we'll just do. Um, but if you have your goals clearly defined, then um, you can be working towards 
those big things that you want to happen. So make it a good day and I will see you soon.